So here at Gannon's Antiques in Fort Myers, Florida, I wanted to be able to show you a little bit more of the button collection that I had gotten in, and I wanted to show you the great variety of buttons that we have. And this is just, again, a small sampling of the buttons that we have. The, the card right here that you can see, these are all Calico China buttons. I'm going to try to get in. I don't know how easy uh, it's going to be to see, but if you look at them, you can see the the slight variations in color. You can see the 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 total color changes from pinks to browns to greens. But within each category, there are so many different and beautiful. I'm going to see how close I can actually get in to see these. See if it will focus in. And you can see the different patterns on some of them. I'll also take some photographs so that you can see the photographs. Look at those. I mean, they're, they are as beautiful as can be. And then same thing down here in the corner. Oh my gosh, I love these buttons. Each one is so unique. And then let's see what's down here. Some have little dots. Some have zigzags. They're all so nice. Then continuing forward, these are more like uh, Art Deco, Art Nouveau buttons. I love these. I mean, look at that one with the longhorn sheep right there in the center. I mean, that is fabulous. And then here, the lady who collected them has the names of them. That one there, the white one is a... Uh, is glass, it's like a cameo button, and then those two little ones down below it, and then some Japanese or, or Asian ones. And let's see what else we have here, Swiss lady, the, I kind of like that one that's, that's a moose all carved out, and then a dog, those are, those are nice. Then here, she's, she's, on the back she has titled this square buttons. So it's all just different square buttons made out of plastic, mother of pearl shell, uh, whatever caught her fancy. She put these all together. Look at that. That's some, those are some great color, colors and, and combinations. Just really, I think that they are all fascinating. Looks like there's a few buttons that have come off over time, but there are certainly plenty of buttons here. That would make a great, either just to leave them as a display. These here are on an actual wooden board, and these are all big. We've tested some of these. Some are Bakelite, some are Lucite, but again, look at these buttons. I mean, these are really fabulous of the era. What a great collection. Whoa, that's a biggie there in the center. And then look at those. I really like those. And then this is like a little piece of folk art where she made, oh, let me get back a little bit. She cut out a star and then put all little mother of pearl buttons. And that would be cute in a button collection just as a piece of folk art to have. And then down here, are the luster buttons and these are as beautiful as can be. Look at those. Look at the colors on those. They are the colors and the patterns and the cuts in them. Just all the different facets are really special. I mean these are gorgeous. I love these. They come in all sorts of shapes. Some are oblong, look at that with paisleys, others are round. Some look like they're from outer space. And then I have a few individual buttons here that I'm going to also show you. These are hand-painted buttons here. That one's hand-painted as well. And then let's see. Oh, these are Japanese. That one is a little dark to see from this angle. I'll take some photographs of it. 
But um, and then look at this one. This is a glass one with the storks and the basket in the back and the tree. Really beautiful.